hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to have a hamster haul and um, it's going to be also a Halloween hamster haul because a lot of the products here are going to be for a Halloween hamster theme cage so let's begin and show you what I have so and the first thing that I have is some Care Fresh. We have some green Care Fresh because um, obviously it's in keeping with Halloween. So I bought some green and I also bought some of the Katie um, and this is the purple bedding. And I'm just going to um, add a little touch of that as well along with the green. And I think it's going to look great. So I've got that as well. Um, also, I also have some paper plates um, and these are just some Halloween paper plates. So you can see they've got some gory um, characters there with the pumpkin. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I just thought it's a great idea. So I've got those as well. Um, I also have some black cats and these are from Tiger. So uh, this one's from Amazon. All my bedding as well is from Amazon and these are the black cats and I just thought that this might look great around the cage on the outside so yeah and because I have cats as well it's nice to keep them in the theme so we have the black cats as well I also have some of these um, jelly like gel stickers do you call them one of these Halloween window gel so yeah, I have these and they're all the Halloween. There's like four packs there. So you can see there's a, a pumpkin here and then a ghost. And you can also see the witch there um, and the moon and some bats. Um, and I think that's just going to look great. Um, and I think there's something here that says Happy Halloween. So I think that's just going to look great on the outside of the cage, um, making it very um, festive for the Halloween. So we have that. Um, I also purchased this um, little colourful bridge. It might not go in the Halloween theme cage, but I just said it was a hamster haul and most of the things were for Halloween. But there are also some additional items that I just purchased as well. So there's that rainbow little bridge here. There's also a Rosewood Naturals Rodent Playground and that looks like that. So all the little bits, great gnawing things as well. And I did say I love um, rosewood because it's a lot of natural stuff for your hamsters. So um, that's a nice little touch as well. Um, I also have some straws. These are just some Halloween paper straws, um, again from Tiger. And you can see it's got the black cats there, ghosts and pumpkins, um, all in the lovely Halloween colors. So I uh, might put a few of those in there. Um, that's great. Um, also, I mean, look at this. Um, I'm doing my one on the um, Jack the Pumpkin King um, because I love anything to do with um, Tim Burton and especially the night before Christmas. So there's this as well and it's like a light up face and this I just got from the local supermarket. Um, yeah, the Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, so if I just take this little thing out, you can see that lights up. So yeah, we'll turn that off for now, but yeah, that uh, might be something to put on the top of the cage. So just have that there lighting up. And also I decided to buy again from the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I've decided to get this little um, character, the Pumpkin King. And then if we put this down here, he kind of like hangs. So I just thought that's great and it just um, in keeping with the theme at the moment with everything. So yeah, I think that's going to look really cool. Maybe somewhere in the corner hanging, I don't know yet. Um, what else have I got? Right, so I c I'm dying to show you these because I think they are a fantastic buy. So if you're thinking about doing a Halloween theme cage um, for your hamsters, these are great. I mean, check these out. These are the little hideouts. Um, this is the pumpkin one and they are from Tiger. And I'm telling you that I have seen these around online for literally 25 to 30 pounds. These are only 
four pounds each at Tiger. So that is a bargain. So they are fantastic high dates. And not only that, I think they look lovely as well. They've just got that beautiful color. So I'm gonna keep that wrapped up. So I've got that one. And I've also got this one as well. And again, we're trying to keep the cat theme. So there you go. We've got the little cat with the little orange ears and nose. And I think that just looks lovely as well. So we have that. So I also wanted to do um, some sand baths as well. Now, I'm doing mine for my dwarf hamsters. And um, yeah, you can see that I have these little paper coffins. They're literally, they're from Tiger and they're just to put little treats and things in. But I thought if I put some sand in here, they can have like a sand bath each. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I wasn't going to go for these initially, but I just thought why not just give it a try. It's only, um, you know, a little sand bath and yeah it won't be forever but yeah I just thought something temporary just for the Halloween theme cage so that's great and then I um, told you that about the cage that's there um, that I wanted some platforms and I have bought this I think it is from Rosewood and you attach the legs with the, got the screws and you attach the legs and it's quite a large platform that I can put on. I can put things on top and I can also put things underneath. So that's great. So I've got that platform as well. I also have these carrot and fennel snacks from Rosewood. So these are something different. Not sure I bought this flavour before, but yeah. I've got those in as well. I also got these little plates and I think they're about two pound each and they've got the black cat. I have another one somewhere which I'm thinking of using and that'll be just great for the feeding bowl just for this Halloween theme cage. So that's going to be lovely as well. What else do I have? Oh yeah, I also have another platform. Yeah, so that platform, the other one looked like that. That's what it's gonna look like. So you can use them for guinea pigs, you can use them for rabbits, hamsters, gerb, any other um, little small rodents. So yeah, that's what that one is. And then I've got this one as well. I brought two of them. So this one's from a different naturals wooden platform. Um, a great for climbing and hiding. So they got the use of the top and the bottom. So those are my two little large platforms there. I also have some dried carrots. And they look like this and we also have some other um gnawing um little snacks here and they're like sugar free recipe and they look like this and again they're for your hamsters guinea pigs or rabbits as well so that's really great something different never tried these little things so can't wait to try those out i also got a little flexible bridge here so that's going to be good. It won't probably won't go in this theme cage, but a different one. Um, there is also something I'm looking at as well, and it's called vitamin drops for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, rats, and mice. And you put in a certain amount for a certain amount of water. Um, and I've never ever really thought about um, vitamins um, for my hamster because I usually just give them some natural things like broccoli and anything that I'm cooking with or cucumber, some fruits. So um, yeah, I'm thinking about giving them some vitamin drops as well. So that's also something else that I purchased. That was from Amazon. I also purchased this little um, hammock um, thing that they can rest on and you just kind of hang it up and it's got a flexible little um, base here. So yeah, and that's all nice and colourful and I think that's going to go great um, with all the colourful bits and pieces. So that's another thing. I decided to get some sand as well. Um, this one is natural um, sand actually. I got this one, natural sand, natural substrate. Um, yeah, so thinking about um, for the sand bath. So I've got this natural sand here. What else do I have? Oh, this is a lovely little thing. I also I would keep seeing this. I never ever got it before. Um, and you can hang this. It's a little basket and it's got some flowers. Um, yeah, and it is um, very safe. It's from Rosewood and it's a board and break and it's great for hamsters. And I think that again would look lovely with all the colorful touches. So I have that as well. 
And what else do I have? I also have something in here. I haven't even opened this yet, so I'm going to wait till now to open it with you. Um, I'm so excited to see them. Okay, they're really, really small and tiny, but they are little food bowls for your hamsters and they different colors so this one is a little green one they come in a pack of three and i think that is really cute and also uh, it regulates the measurements of food that, to be giving them so i think that's great because it's about just the right size as well so i have one in green i think they come in three i think they're all green actually let me see there's another one in green i love all the, the little colors and oh i don't know what this color is let's have a look at this looks like a little mint mint color oh i think it's a blue i think that's a light blue okay so that is a light blue they did have pinks as well but never mind i was hoping to get one of each but i'm not disappointed i think that's great to have those so those are from amazon i can definitely put links down below if you're thinking about getting little cute little bowls um i decided to go with these i just love ceramic stuff because i just think it's easy when you're cleaning um the ceramics i also got this nutty honey um treat as well the ceramic jack mug and I just thought that was great. And I mean, look at that. Look at this. I love black and white classic anyway. So I think that is fantastic. It is definitely um, the pumpkin king here. And it is lovely at the back as it's got the night before Christmas. So you could use this cup for both Halloween and Christmas. So I really like that. I'm going to have my cup of tea in this later. I was thinking of putting this in the cage, but... When I saw the hideouts in Tiger, I decided, no, I think that I deserve this and um, I'm going to have my cup of tea in this. So that's going to be um, great. I also got something else and this is just from the local supermarket because they've got all their Halloween stuff out as well. And they have got the cat pumpkin decoration kit. Um, I decided to buy one, maybe doing it on a separate video. Um, maybe I'll do a video like how we spent Halloween and then we will do this up as well because obviously I've got to include the cats over here um, so yeah so that will be included in that part I also have one more thing I think I need to show you so let's me get that feed right now so here it is this is the last product and I think it is well needed and I'll show you why um, let's get this out okay so because I have this new cage now and it has a great big back wall on that cage, I wanted to have a nice backdrop. Um, and because it is the Halloween, I decided to go with a Halloween one. I saw one in Amazon and I just think this was perfect. Not sure how this is gonna look. I think it's the ones that you've got to stick on. Um, but yeah, let me show you what this looks like. I think I've got the measurements right. It's quite big, actually, even bigger than I thought. And look at this. Oh, let's get that out. Okay, so you can see there's like the pumpkin hanging off the trees. You've got the witch on the broom, and you've got spider web in the trees as well. And you've got all this little, you probably won't see all those little bits and pieces going on at the back there, which is quite a shame. Um, they might be covered up with some bedding, but um, even just to have that little touch at the top there, I think that that would still give it some effects. I think it was going to give it a lot of effects. And um, yeah, so I have never done that before in the cage. I cannot wait because I've been dying to do something like that. So yeah, I can't wait to set this cage up now um, for Halloween. That will be my next video. So stay tuned. Everything that you saw in this video will be most of the stuff will go into that Halloween theme cage, which I'm so excited about. And I'll just be showing you from start to finish me doing that cage up so you get to see everything. So that ends this video here. I hope you did enjoy it. If you are new to my channel, then please do not forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed it, then give it a big 
thumbs up. I am definitely going to be leaving some links down below so check that out so you can see some of the items here and if I did get anything from Tiger I will just put that in that description box down below so if you are interested I think they have those Halloween items out there right now go check them out because it is worth the money and they aren't that expensive um, like where they're offering them elsewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all again in another video. Do not forget to um, hit on that like button before you exit and um, hit on that notification as well so you don't miss any more videos. Stay safe, take care, see you in another one.